Good afternoon everyone, we're going to start the vlog right here because I, I did go to uni this morning um, but unfortunately the weather has took a little bit turn for the worst and it is literally like it is mental outside like it's rain, windy, rainy, you name it as I said, I've come home and I've had to get a shower because I was soaked through, like, my parka is soaked, my shoes, like, it, oh my god, nah. So we're going to start the vlog right here. So I've come home and I'm in my, I've got my pyjama bottoms on, but I'm in my holiday jumper because it's nice and cosy. And I want to stay warm. But yeah, so I've got a fair, I should try to eat that then. I've got a fair things to do though, a fair amount of things to do this afternoon. So I handed in my assignment, got all that dusted, so one tick off. But um, I've got my, I've got the vlog from yesterday to edit and upload, so I'm going to do that in the next few hours, and then just do some other bits and bobs around the house. So I mean, Alex has been organising the house, um, so I think the house is going to be pretty okay, so we'll be able to show you the, the whole house, because you've seen it like each room and bits and bobs of it, but I don't think you've seen the whole of the flat. Um, I don't know if you want sort of a flat tour or anything. If you do, just put in the comments or give us a thumbs up or anything like that. But yeah, so I'm going to dry my hair. I'm going to do this vlog from yesterday. Alex has gone to work, so you won't see him until probably the end of this of day clip. Uh, but it should be in tomorrow. So yeah, I shall see you when my hair is dry and maybe if I have to look on that lens is out. So <laughs> I'm not putting up the Christmas tree. Well, we've put up the Christmas tree. I'm not decorating the Christmas tree. I'm sorting out all these Christmas decorations because we're going to do something with our old Christmas tree that we had last year and some of the baubles and tinsel that we bought last year that we're not putting on the Christmas tree because we've gone with the sort of colour theme now. So last year we had the traditional red, gold green sort of thing this year we've not we're going with a different thing so I'm just sorting it all out now I've cleaned the kitchen fully I would show you a bit there's like dirt laundry like clean laundry in there and I know you see it in the backs of the vlogs all the time but I'm trying to keep it sort of out of the vlogs so if you do want a house tour out there we're not just like oh here's what I've done oh here's it again so I'm trying to say keep everything compact the living room is actually isn't that much of a mess, but there's just like bits everywhere. So I'm going through all of the Christmas decorations, seeing what we're keeping, the new ones that we've bought, going through all this tinsel here, because as you can tell, it does not match. There is blue tinsel with purple tinsel. Oh, well, them two match. Uh, and then there's more red tinsel and there's green, like a green tinsel that's be, that I've had for years. I might put that on the bottom of the tree, actually. But anyway... We're just getting around to doing every room and getting it all sort of organised and done. But yeah, so that's just my evening really. I've been catching up with some soaps. I say soaps, all I watch is Neighbours and Home and Away. But I've just sort of been catching up on stuff really. Done a bit of uni work. I'm one assignment down. Three or four more to go. Sort of I'm planning my dissertation now as well, which is even scarier. To say it's a master's dissertation as well. I'm just waiting for Alex to get home, so yeah, that's my evening really, but I just thought I'd like catch you up with everything, what's going off, um, and that's it really, so I'm probably going to go and finish doing all this, and I'll probably catch you up when Alex gets home. So Alex finally got home from work, and tried himself to a takeaway, but there is a valid enough reason, this stupid weather that is like flooding the entire. I might as well have jumped in a swimming pool when I got out of work. It was um, and what you were telling me was ridiculous. And then like I've been seeing people's like updates and stuff on like Chili Road, which is like main road in Newcastle. If you live in Newcastle, you would know. If you don't, sorry. <laughs> There's like a major road, and that was like fully flooded and everything. And we live on the coast road, and like majority of that and all the slip roads are closed off and everything and it's well they're just... closed off because of road work yeah but it's just oh. but the ones that are open are flooded oh. 
And I've got to go. To, I've got to try. I've got to try and get to uni tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to see what it's like in the morning. But it hasn't stopped raining, and it's just apparently this is storm ag ag. Angus, 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 Angus. They're supposed to have gone and gone past and left us. And then was like, yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. I think the Met Office trolled us all. Probably did, because the Met Office, thanks Met Office for trolling us yet again. It's like, oh yeah, the weather's passed, it's totally avoided us, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> they're, not, they're not going to understand what's going to hit them. I don't know what to say. Probably is. But anyway, I thought I would just check in with you before I go to bed. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much my day summed up. I know it was a bit sort of quick and started the vlog like when I got home at like 5 o'clock this afternoon, 4 o'clock. You yeah. haven't seen me because I updated my wardrobe and then tidied a bit of the house and then I went to work. Yeah, you already know that. I told them. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Good morning everyone. Yeah, it's pretty bad outside still. I don't know if I can show you because you probably can't see all. I'm just getting attacked by the tree. Uh, yeah, but you can't see much of it. still alive. <laughs> um, yeah, it is like, <laughs> my, yeah, my pumpkin is still alive outside. You probably can't see it. I might have to zoom in a bit over there, but... Um, I can't see mine because mine turned to mush. <laughs> yeah, his pumpkin turned to mush, and the pumpkin that I crafted, when we put them outside when they went a little bit, like, soft, is still there now, and it's not disintegrated or anything, and then the other pumpkins we bought, we just chucked them outside. Uh, but yeah, the, the weather in not the northeast was pretty bad yesterday, and... Get the weather across Britain. Well, yeah, I think across Britain, but obviously the northeast got hit pretty bad. Um, and so there was like major road closures and I've woke up this morning and there's like no trains, no this, no that, no metros. They're coming back on slowly. But the main bus route into town from here is just like delays after delays of buses and they have forecast like a warning said that if only travel if you have to travel. So I've made the executive decision to not go to uni today because I do not want to risk getting hit or getting stuck in traffic for hours on end and missing my lecture and going all that way for nothing because then I'll end up going into town and spending money that I don't have. So I'm staying inside and I'm just going to crack on with uh, uni work from home and well I don't have to tidy the house because I tidied the house yesterday. There's probably just a few little bits that I have to in bedrooms but that's it. So yeah, um, <clears throat> as you think Alex is still here, I hasn't gone to work just yet. <laughs> But he's not on a late tonight, so he will be back and he'll be in the rest of the vlog later on. Um, so, yeah. Afternoon. I've managed to get dressed, as you can tell. Uh, I've tried to sort my hair out, but it's just not going right today. I am currently editing, a, like, <laughs> in the process of editing about three videos so I've got my lush Christmas haul video which I've just realized I filmed in October is now November so I will be getting that out this week there is a video about the teaching excellent framework that the government are wanting to bring out that's going to be going up this week excuse me and also I have done a Zoella Beauty haul video from Superdrugs so that's going out today as well <laughs> so whew, a lot of editing to do I'm not editing the vlog because that'll be tomorrow but yeah so that's pretty much my day I've done quite a bit of uni work this morning so it's not the end of the you know I've not like not done that I've done uni work I'm now doing YouTube stuff while watching Code Black a program um, on Sky box sets I watched the first episode when it came out and then I stopped watching it not because I didn't like it I just life happened but yeah the weather does seem to be easing off I think it's still raining but I think a lot of the flooding and stuff has subsided I don't really know I haven't watched the news since lunchtime uh, but our road everywhere's just it's just me it's absolute mayhem um, but Alex has managed to get to work so when he comes home he'll probably update you and update me on what's going off but yeah Oh, quite scary. But yeah, I'm going to get back to editing. So these videos are going to get out this week. 
and I am really sorry that <laughs> they've not been out. Uh, but hopefully you'll enjoy them. Please tell me if you do. Don't forget to comment in the in the comments. Don't forget to comment in the comments. Don't forget to comment below in the videos as well. And I'll make sure that they're all in this description of this video if they're out. If not, you're just gonna have to wait, are you? But for now, I'm gonna crack back on with this and I'll probably cap the next clip will probably be with Alex anyway, so. I'm finally home from work. Much to this one's delight. Yes. So I'm cooking Lee Ham and Pasta tonight. Did oh did I pick any ham up? Yes. Oh. I just thought. I think I did. I'm sure I did. Um yeah, you did pick up ham. Um but we um ate it. I'm sure I got a pack of ham. There's tomatoes, there's chicken, there's wings, sausages, pigs in blankets. Uh, no ham. No ham. Well, it's a minor inconvenience. Uh, oh well. well. Cheese. Yes, we'll need the cheese. Minor inconvenience, not a massive loss. We do have other things, but yeah, there we are. But, yeah. yeah, we have garlic bread. Not that we're going to have that already with it, but... Oh, do you want slices or do you want baguette? Just do a baguette, it'd be easier. Right. You got half of a baguette. Why half a baguette? Oh, because you had it when you had sausage and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, tomorrow I've got one last day of work and then I've got four days off, which will be a nice little break. I've got some decent hours this coming week and I'm going to enjoy my few days off. It'll be well earned, and I'll be able to vlog a bit more, and we got... Thursday Thanksgiving! Got Thursday, thanks... <laughs> got Thanksgiving on Thursday. So, that'll be a hectic cooking day, but it'll be so worth it. So, yeah. Prepared. Getting prepared. We just watched the Grand Tour, which might as well be Top Gear. <laughs> <coughs> It is, it is Top Gear. As is. Top Gear as what it should be. Mm. I give the new series a go, as in Top Gear, with Chris Evans and Matt LeBlanc. Matt LeBlanc. Mm -hmm. I know watched it for Matt LeBlanc. You would. And the final, Overall... Well, and the final episode had Patrick Dempsey in it. Overall, it didn't hold my interest. I was literally saying to Vicky while we were watching the Grand Tour, like, what actually happened to Top Gear? Like... It just fizzled out of nowhere. Like, it just... It was on, and then suddenly you didn't hear about it. I was a bit confused when I just actually thought about it. But honestly, the Grand Tour is what Top Gear should be. Mm. Even though, in everyone's hearts, it really is Top Gear. And you can tell. You can tell. Good fun watch. Mm. And I'm impressed you stayed awake. I'm really falling asleep now. That's why I give you the camera to do the end bit. Because yeah. I'm just like, no, I need to. Fair, I'm falling asleep. I've been up all day. Yeah. So, we'll, um, <sighs> yes. Yes. Just make everyone yawn. All right. Will, you can be. How many of you out there have just yawned? Tell it's us like a chain comments. reaction. But yes. I'm not at work till the evening tomorrow, so may vlog a bit if there's anything going on, which probably... We may do, may not, or we may just leave it for Thanksgiving, do a big that Thanksgiving could, that vlog. That could be something worth doing. Mm. But either way, we'll see you in the next one. Because I'm watching my game, obviously. There's an advert for Home Depot Christmas. <laughs> we love American adverts. Um, but yeah, we've been tidying the house up today, doing a few washings. Washings? Doing a few washing loads. There we go. Washings, precious. Alright. Alright, Gollum. Over there, in this corner. Look at his little perch. He's perched his little thing. Precious. I can't do it. So yeah, so I thought I'd check in with you because obviously we haven't checked in since this morning and we are just super bad vloggers. I've been up since like half eight this morning as well. Oh well, what are you going to do about it? Pittsburgh and Dallas both won tonight. Woo woo! Nine and one. I'm not going to make a massive hoo-ha about it because it is the Browns and I'm not going to be that person who 
just gloats about it. I do feel sorry for Cleveland. Anyone who's watching this might be a Cleveland, fla Cleveland fan or knows of Cleveland fans. I do feel sorry for you. It's to support a team at zero and eleven, not to have won a game all season, is is tough. I'm not going to lie. It's it's hard to watch that. I'm quite surprised that. That, that's the first time I've actually noticed a team go like that far down the line and not won a single game yet. But I hope you do pick up some wins down the line, Cleveland, and if not, I hope that during the off-season you do pick up some changes to sort out your team. I really do. It's no fun to watch it and it's... It sounds bad on my part when I say this, but going into that game I knew we'd win and it's just one of those things. Like, you didn't... You didn't let Pittsburgh stomp all over the place. You did stop us defensively in some regards. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm going to say on that one. Um, as for now, we've got a bit of a sizing up dilemma because we've got our tree. And the tree 